Hey guys, we're challenging our church family to a fast Wednesday evening, April the 1st. Now guys, fasting isn't just skipping a meal. Fasting is abstaining from food or drink to focus on prayer and to seek God's will. Fasting is a spiritual discipline that helps us put God back in his rightful place and helps put us in a receptive place for God's nudges. And it gives us a focused time to ask God's help for ourselves and our families, our church family, our community, and our world. Guys, fasting was practiced by God followers throughout the Old and the New Testaments. And it was even practiced by Jesus. And Jesus encouraged us to follow his model. Here's what Jesus said. He says, when you fast, not if you fast, but when you fast, don't make it look obvious like the hypocrites do. They like to look miserable and disheveled so people will admire them for their fasting. And Jesus said, I tell you the truth, that's the only reward that they'll ever get. When you fast, he says, Comb your hair, wash your face, then no one will notice that you're fasting except your father who sees everything that you do in private. And your father who sees everything, he's the one who will reward you. You see, guys, we don't fast to impress men. We fast to spend some intense time with our God. Now, how you fast will be your choice. Some of you may want to abstain from food and drink, others from food only. And there may be others who, for health reasons, choose to fast from something other than food, like TV or the social media. But the key is to replace the time you would have spent eating with a quiet time with our God. Now here are some suggestions for your prayer time. Make sure that you include some gratitude and some praise. I think that's a great way to open up any prayer. And ask God for courage to stand tall as a Jesus follower in very hard times. Ask him for his wisdom his strength, and his peace. Pray for God's healing for those who are sick and for those who are scared. Some are even panicked. Ask God's wisdom for those who are leading, asking that they pursue a God-honoring agenda, not their own. Pray for the church. Pray for Capital City Christian Church. Pray for our sister churches here in Frankfurt. And pray for the church around the world that the church might stand tall in a time like this. And ask that we Jesus followers be looking for those opportunities to share Jesus with those who may be more receptive to God in a time like this. And above all, ask that God will be glorified through all of this. After you fast and pray, guys, be prepared to live it out. Now stand tall for Jesus.